Tui, Tui Tabaki. Will you come up here, please? This is Zach Tui Tabuki. He risked his life to serve our country in the U.S. Navy. After four years of service, he found the transition to civilian life wasn't easy. But I've struggled with uh, with addiction and for quite some time. And uh, after I got out of the Navy, um, didn't feel like I had much direction. Homeless and with 14 criminal cases, Zach says he didn't see a way out. My life was headed in the wrong direction. I was going to end up in in prison or dead. Standing at the Matheson Courthouse Thursday, he says his future looks a lot different than it did 18 months ago. Veterans Treatment Court, you know, really gave me a second chance at life. He is one of six veterans to graduate from Veterans Treatment Court. It involves a rigorous treatment and counseling program, which was started nearly eight years ago in Salt Lake County with the help of District Attorney Sim Gill. They were uh, dealing with the demons of PTSD and uh, mental health issues that were going uh, uh, unattended and they were finding themselves intersecting with the criminal justice system. And here were men and women who made a commitment to go serve our country. And, uh, and they were willing to risk their lives uh, in that process. And when they were coming back, we as a society were sort of forgetting them. Here in Salt Lake 3rd District Veterans Court, 160 veterans have graduated, reducing or dismissing their sentences. Overall, it has a 70% success rate. You know, I've almost two decades now working in a drug court or a mental health court or now in a veterans treatment court, and I do know they work. Jessica Mann with the VA says there are only veterans courts in Salt Lake and Utah counties right now, but they hope to change that. Our efforts are hoping to grow a veterans treatment court to cover all of the districts in the state of Utah. She says funding through the VA is there. That's not the question. It would really be if the courts have the funding for a judge to have that much time to commit to a veterans court calendar or law enforcement. It's really do all of the agencies, do they have the ability to put that time and attention? Whether that looks like funding from the legislature, judges volunteering their own time, or another way to open more veteran treatment courts, she hopes other communities find a way to give veterans like Zach another chance. In Salt Lake County, we would move to dismiss his four cases with prejudice. Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.